Hi, my name is Yara Shahidi, and today I have the pleasure of a private tour of the Christian Dior Designer of Dreams exhibit at the Brooklyn Art Museum. It's uh, Galliano. This one speaks about the Russian ballet. Being a history nerd, my favorite room would have to be the first entrance room in which you're literally looking at the really influential creative directors of the house and some of their uh, most impressive pieces. They are not only paying homage to the, to the founder, mm -hmm. but they are also themselves. Right. You know? And I think there are certain sentiments that Maria Gracia Curie has shared with me about her intention and design that come from the legacy of the house. It's even clearer to see the through lines of when she returns to the like yes. classic Dior. Yes, so. but you can wear it with sneakers. Yes. I love it. <laughs> and you know? she still has pockets and everything. Yes, oh, which I was so very for. <laughs> this section is about the famous American fashion photographers, mm -hmm. starting with Richard Avedon. And here you can see this dress that was one of the first designs of Yves Saint Laurent mm. while he was the assistant of Dior. I've done one photo shoot next to a camel. I was very young though Ooh. and I wasn't keen on it. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, the 18th century. I love the section talking about kind of Versailles and the way that designers have gone back to those moments as inspiration. Here, instead of the royal family, we have this piece by Cindy Sherman. She discovered this set of porcelain created by Madame de Pompadour in the 18th century and she kept the mold and did a new yeah. set with her looking like Madame de Pompadour something really incredible about the way in the main room the kind of tarot dresses are displayed right in the center. I, I feel like it gives it the environment <laughs> that just bolsters what the dress is. You know, Marie Gracia is very inspired by um, everything which is connected with the zodiacal sign and superstition. Through this, you can replace clothes with Imagine if you're going to see an art gallery and these art pieces, because everything's displayed like an art piece. I, I think it also, in many ways, uh, both overtly and subliminally, kind of talks about the history of um, fashion responding to our world. You see the ways in which, whether it be its beginnings coming out of the war, or even seeing this kind of new moment in Dior in which they're pulling on the legacy of always centering women. And so there are moments like that when you see the We Should All Be Feminists shirt. This is the dress Mexique, worn by Josephine Baker. Wow. Diana, mm -hmm. Princess of Wales, mm -hmm. Lady Gaga, yeah. and perhaps you recognize <laughs> yeah. this one. They kept it as a total surprise to me. There is something really dramatic about it in a great way. For me personally, it was incredible to think that I in any way am a part of the Dior history or lineage. <laughs>